Okay, so we're playing Zetsubo no Shima with Black Ops 1 weapons. A BO3 map with BO1 weapons. Here in the classic gun game. Oh, I do. I, I, every time I see the purple eyes, man, it, it just looks so cool. I don't know about you guys. I absolutely love the Black Ops 1 weapons because... Jesus, man, that plane scared the shit out of me. Why do you do that? I don't know. Black Ops 1 guns were the last time that when you, like, pack a punch them especially, they would become really unique. In BO3, you kind of get what you expect when you pack a punch them. So we're going to get that PAP turned on, and we're going to try and upgrade as many as possible. I, the reason I don't put the PAP variation of the gun game on is because the names of the PAP guns are extremely sussy. Ooh, CZ-75 dual-wield. And they don't crash the game. Wow, what a crazy concept that is. I think last time we played Zetsubo, I forget what we did. Probably like the Easter egg or something, but we have done this map with Modern Warfare 2. Two guns, I think. But I don't know. I really like Zetsubo and I thought it would be fitting to give it a bit more love, you know? If anyone knows any custom mod creators that could make me like something unique, I'll come up with the idea and everything, but I just need somebody who can actually code it. Please let me know down in the comments section. Similar to like, I don't know, videos like Cause and Effect. I want to try and come up with an original idea because Cause and Effect, even though it's like the concept that I really popularized, I'd love to come up with some brand new idea or way of changing the game that no one's really done before. I still have plenty of video ideas, so this isn't me, like, running out of stuff. But, you know, just something to, uh, potentially work on. Look, a single CZ-75. That's cool, actually. You get the dual wield in the one, and then you get the single. God, the only issue with Zetsubo I have is the fact that there's so many doors, dude. Like, to open up the power, you just need so much. We've got a perk. And it has absolutely no icon. Interesting. I thought they fixed that, but, I mean, maybe it's Vigor Rush? No? Is it Snail's Pace? Like, do they slow down? Nope. <laughs> okay. Perhaps it's PhD? Yeah, it's definitely PhD. <laughs> That's how you know. The absolute chaos after sliding. Although it is good because you can't like use your knife or anything to get points or kills on this mod. So if we, well, I mean, we're never going to run out of ammo because you also get unlimited ammo. But I guess in theory, if we did, we could just use the, uh, the slide, which is nice. But nine zombies left. Bro, why are they so slow? I was going to do a cause and effect on Shino Numa, but for whatever reason... The zombies were just not spawning in fast. And I went to fast restart and I got downed in one hit because I forgot to take the one hit KO thing off. I'm just an absolute genius, what can I say? Yo, two zombies, where the hell are you at? I hear him. Oh, here we go. Jesus, bro. Yeah, at least you're sprinting now. Good God. Early rounds, man. I've seen the Modern Warfare 3 zombies gameplay, like the reveal thing happened today when I'm recording this. And honestly, it looks pretty good. However, even though I'm saying it looks pretty good, one, I haven't played it like these YouTubers have, who I feel like sponsorships were talking in those videos because a lot of them didn't actually seem that enthusiastic if you look past the sponsor. Ooh, the Python, let's go. And then three, I still don't think it justifies the price. Hello, flipping Thrasher, where'd you come from? Oh, and four, it really does not look like a good game for solo players. I was tempted to make a video on it. I still might, honestly, but yeah, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, if you don't have friends or like people to play with, you're probably not going to enjoy this game. It literally looks like Outbreak 2 from Cold War, which I'm fine with because Outbreak was a pretty good mode. It wasn't really my cup of tea, but like it was very successful. It was the most played zombies mode of all time. So I can't really fault it too much. It definitely feels like modern warfare zombies. Oh, we got spiders. I forgot all about you. Little creeps. I mean, we don't have to worry about anything because the KT4, you know, we don't need it. The Skull of Non Sapa we literally can't use because it doesn't let you use specialist. These pistols are beasts, though. It's, it's like one-shotting the spider. Oh, you got screwed. But we can go and work on getting the uh, the power turned on, and then we can get Pack-a-Punch. In case we get on those pesky snipers where we can't do anything, you know. I guess we'll try and leave one zombie at the end of this round, then. Not exactly the best place to camp in the world, but ASP has a decent fire rate. Oh, we got the 1911. Oh, my God. Hello, hello, hello. Do not go down. Please. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. That was close. I was going to say it seems decent because it's not like the starting pistol 1911. It straight up just like two shots them. Oh, the Spaz 12, iconic. We've got three left. Let's go do the power then. Interesting way you've got to turn on the power. You have to take water and put it in this little thing here. And then you have to do the exact same thing on the other side of the map and then come back to this door before it like runs out of time. Grab the shield part on the way. I mean, I don't think we can actually build and use it because it gives us kills and stuff. But if I see the parts, you know, I'll go for it. All right, here we go. Put the water in and now we go and release the door. 
It's interesting, there's no cough animation, so look, it just instantly gives me the gun back, which is kind of broken because you don't have to, like, cough. It sort of cancels it. Uh, let's try and shoot this guy before he transforms. There we go, we did it. Hello, Juggernaut. And just when you thought, oh, the power was turned on, nope. Now we have to open this door and then go underneath the water and randomly knife this thing. Oh my god, swimming with this looks weird. <laughs> I mean, the, the standard swim animation is fine, but this just looks... Uh, why is it so low, you know? Oh my god, and shooting? What is, what is going on? That's a weird way to hold the gun. Yeah, this one, I don't know if it's time-based or kill-based. I think it's actually time-based. But, I mean, to be on the safe side, let's just get some kills. The Olympia is pretty solid, actually. I'm not, like, Olympia gang or M14 gang. But I acknowledge that both are, like, fairly decent, you know? In their own right. All right, is it done now? There we go, Jesus. So we get this little thing, and now we have to leave. Hopefully not die instantly. Turn on the power fully this time. And now we need 30 points and then we can actually buy Jug, which is good. Get the first perk that we can see. Wow, what a concept, man. Boom, there we go. And we can also put the first Valve thing in. All right, 37 guns to go. Not bad, not bad. I feel a bit safer now because without Jug, we kind of just like get absolutely slapped. I don't feel too worried about getting Quick Revive though, because on this mod, if you go down, technically you don't go down. You just get demoted by one gun. I do want to get double tap eventually, but who knows? Maybe we'll get a free perk from one of these zombies again. Oh, promoted. The HS-10. I can't say this was my favorite shotgun ever. Like, I love shotguns, but just only having six shots in a semi-auto shotgun is not great. Actually, wait, is it semi-auto? Yeah, it is. It's when you pack a puncher, I think it becomes full auto. Which, it gets a little bit better, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, the death machine. Technically cheating. Oh, hi, Thrasher. What's up? I would say terrifying, but I mean, this is a shotgun, right? Come on. You got to kill him eventually. Really? Jesus, this guy will not die. There we go. <laughs> Took your time. I don't mind the Thrashers. They're, um, they're okay. They spawn a little bit too often for me, but they're also kind of easy to kill, especially when you get like double tap and pap. Also, the stake out. Not bad. Not bad. The, this is like a pump action six round shotgun, which makes it a bit more viable because the damage is higher because it's a pump action. So it kind of makes sense. Let's actually see what perks at the back of the map here. It's either going to be stamina up or dead, 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 dead double tap. Jesus Christ. I can speak words, I swear. Okay, it's stamina up. Cutting the webs is a little bit uh, strange. Yeah, it gives us a, a weapon. Oh, hello. Why are there spiders here? I just wanted to buy a perk. Never mind then, I guess. I'll just die in the drinking animation, bro. If you don't know how these gun games work, essentially we level up with points to get to the next gun, which I quite like because if it was kills, you know, it'd be very finite. But this sort of adds a bit of variety because it means we can level up in many different ways. Oh, teleporting zombies. Oh, God. Oh, God, and he teleported in front. <laughs> what was that? The KS-23, though. This must be a multiplayer-only shotgun because I do not remember this. Only four rounds, though. Like, good God. It's not very good, is it? The, the minigun? Okay, well, this is kind of sick. We've got a full-on BO-1 minigun. What's the reload like? Because I imagine it's going to be really slow, huh? No? Oh, not too bad. I mean, it feels exactly like the BO-2 death machine that you can get on Mob of the Dead. Oh, we've got spiders. Okay. I mean, if you want to get absolutely obliterated by my minigun, then sure, come for me, bro. I'm going to get speed cola, though, because just having a faster reload on this is going to be quite nice. Oh, and of course, we only get, like... It's, it's already about to go on to the next gun, dude. How fast is the reload? It's almost instant, considering how big this weapon is. Wow. Oh, bloody spider webs. So where is double tap? Is it going to be in the spawn? Hey, it is. Let's go. Lie down by... Oh, you can't... You can't go prone with the death machine. I mean, okay, fair enough. It kind of justifies it a bit. It is a bloody huge weapon. Oh my god, I got demoted instantly. Well, I'm back on the death machine at least. Hello, zombies, move out the way. Rasher just came out of nowhere, dude. At least I know now the next gun we're gonna get is a launcher. Oh, that just obliterated him, didn't it? Well, we have PhD at least, so the Grim Reaper's actually pretty good. I don't think it was that bad in zombies. I don't know. I don't really remember it too much, to be honest. A Strella, though. I mean, this one is just single fire, so does the job, I guess. Watch for zombies that they, <laughs> they go flying. 
Oh my god, the ragdoll. And that's quite funny. We've got an RPG, the classic. What's the reload like? Fairly fast. Double tap, because, I mean, what makes an RPG even stronger? Firing two shots at once. <laughs> oh, we've still got 30 guns left. Holy shit. Might be here for a while. You never know. I guess we'll see, dude. I mean, there's not really a way to fail this mod, which is quite interesting. Unless you just keep on getting demoted over and over again and you don't have enough points to pack a punch, so your gun just becomes useless. But even then, it only requires points to go to the next one. And you have unlimited ammo, so you can always just still get points, which I kind of like because it really just allows you to showcase all the weapons, which is exactly what these videos are for, because I love all these guns. Oh, hello, Thrasher. Where'd you come from? The MPL, the classic. We've got double points. Get the hell out of here. Oh, God. Double points is obviously very good because we get to move on to the next weapon faster. Hello, the Crip Crip Kipperus? I don't remember this one. Again, must be another multiplayer gun. And that's another thing as well, is like, if you're only a zombies player, you might not even know what half of these multiplayer exclusive guns are. MP5K, obviously a classic, you know. The ones that are like war weapons on BO1 are going to be most recognizable. The Uzi, of course, of course. We have quite a few points. I mean, I don't want to pack a punch yet because ideally I want to do it on a gun where it needs a lot of points to sort of boost us, right? Help us out to get to the next stage. It's a shame, actually, because we can't get the free Widow's Wine because we literally can't build the KT4. It would not let us hold it. Only on the gun game version, though. Oh, of course, with the bloody webs again, dude. I just want to buy a perk. Actual bastards. Oh, God. Oh, God. Spiders move out the way. I got a free Pack-a-Punch. The Tyrone. Interesting. This is the MP40. What is this sight on it? Like the uh, the multiplayer red dot, I think. Kind of, uh, kind of unique. The Scorpion VZ61. What does that mean? What makes this different from this, the uh, the regular Scorpion? The Spectre. Oh, I remember you. Spectre was always very mediocre, but like, if you got it, it was still decent for getting points, I suppose. It's just one of those kind of mid guns. That's why I liked Black Ops 1, though, and Black Ops 2 as well for the box. Because the more OP the weapons are in the box, the less fun it is, or the less reason you have to spin the box in the first place. Like, on BO3, everything is pretty much viable because of alternate ammo type, but you need to pack a punch them twice to get to that. So anything like launchers are useless in the later rounds, which was kind of sad. Like, I liked that Cold War everything was viable. It meant everything was kind of fun to use, you know? But at the same time, the negative effect of that was spinning the box really did nothing. There was like no reason to spin the box at all. Also, can I just say this is my favorite version of the AK-74U. Just like the slick look. Oh good, the BO1 version is just king. And that's what I liked because in BO2, they brought back the BO1 version for uh, for zombies. And then we got the M14 as well. See, this came back for BO2. Oh god, don't get stuck. Risking my life for the pointless max ammo. Spray down this hall. I see a thrasher in the distance. Oh god, don't get me stuck now. Pew 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 all those pews in pew 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 Am I really not on the next gun yet? Jesus! This one's requiring a lot, huh? Hello, little thrasher. Taking absolutely no damage. Classic. Come on, get out of here, dude! Bro is one tanky motherfucker. There we go. Oh, and then we got another one just as you deal with one of them. Another one comes. All right, the FAMAS, finally. Maybe this will deal damage to him. Ah, there we go. Much better. Now, don't tell me I have a fucking another one. I can only deal with so much, dude. Oh, three points. Ah, we're on the wazoo. See, this is perfect timing. We've only got two zombies left and we can go and pack a punch it. Because if we don't, it's going to be really ass to use. I mean, it's probably better than some of the bolt action snipers are going to be, but still, I'd rather do this now. I mean, all we have to do is we go in here. <gasps> Wait, you actually can't get pack a punch because you can't knife these. It doesn't let you. So you, you literally can't get pack a punch on this map. Unless you get it from a drop. Well, um, that's a revelation. Speaking of revelations, I tried to do this mod on revelations because someone's been asking for BO1 guns on revelations for ages, and I'm not joking, it kept giving me an error. Something about the zombie eye color and plus one actor. I don't know what that means, dude. But yeah, it was refusing to let me load in with the mod. That's why we're on Zetsubo. I don't really care too much that I've already done these maps with like a gun mod. It's more just using a different one, like not using the exact same gun mod. But it's fine. I mean, we can at least spam this a little bit, like the beauty of semi-autos, even though, oh my god, dude, we need 1,400 points. We better get some, like, double points or a nuke or something, because otherwise we're going to be here a while. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and tear off the webs. I remember you used to be able to leave them up, and the zombies would just, like, pile up and they wouldn't destroy it, but then they patched it in, I think. They take, like, a long time, though, to be fair. So if you do leave the web up, you can, uh, 
kind of use it to hoard or clump up the zombies at the, at the web, but eh. I think I heard a flipping thrasher spawning. Oh, where's he at, dude? Where's he at? He's inside here. No, no, he's somewhere. Oh, there he is, little thrashy. Oh, God. Well, that's an instant demote. Oh, my God, dude. We're never going to be off that. <gasps> Insta kill. Okay, that's actually pretty good then. If we could just get off the FAMAS ASAP. Nah, we're never going to do it. It's going to end the round, man. Tragic, actually. The one time where pack a punch would be so useful. We're literally going to end the round and have a fresh sniper. That's, yep, one zombie. And there we go. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, we can't even buy any of the perks because there's nothing else on the map. Mule kick, even if it is somewhere, would be useless. Quick revive would also be useless because we can't exactly revive ourselves. And it's not like the Cold War one where it will increase our health regen because that would be nice. But, yep. Oh, God. I mean, we've got teleporting zombies. I'm just going to try and full horde train. This is like the riskiest spot to do it, but it's the only half decent training spot until you do the boss fight. And, you know, we can't exactly do the Easter egg because multiple reasons. I don't have anywhere but here on, etc. Okay. It seems like all the zombies. Pew, 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 pew. This shouldn't be too bad in theory. Yeah, we're already 100 points. There we go. See, now we're off it. The AK-47. Interesting we went from a sniper to a full auto. I was hoping that it would be just snipers back to back so we can get them over and done with. But oh well, I'm fine with that, honestly. Oh god, please don't demote me. There we go. ARs just go through so quickly, man. Like, look, we're already off it. Dragonov, again, another semi-auto sniper. Ooh, a packet punch. Us Roda. That's kind of funny. Yeah, some of these packet punch names are perfectly fine. Then you've just got the really, really sus ones. It's mostly in like the Modern Warfare series. Very uh advertiser unfriendly names, let's just say that. Ah, the last one. There we go. Well, at least we have a packet punch now. I do like all the custom zombies, to be fair. Like the uh I think the red ones have more damage, maybe, or more health. The green ones, I think, run faster, and the purple ones teleport, which is uh, not exactly something I'm fond of, but it's cool nonetheless. The Galil. Oh, this is a classic. Probably one of the best BO1 guns, actually. The Lamentation when pack a punch. I just remember, like, anytime I would play Kino de Toten, if ever I got the Galil, I was always so happy. It was just so reliable. Oh, God, God, God. M16. This on BO1, the M16 pack a punch was like, it had one of the best headshot ratios in the entire game. It was really, really good. All right, what gun's next? The Foul. Ooh, okay. You know, the Foul gets a lot of hate. To be honest, I'm, I'm a fan of it. It gets the job done, you know? I mean, then again, BO1 didn't have Double Tap 2.0, but that was where Double Tap 1.0 actually was kind of useful because on any other gun, it just kind of wastes the ammo too fast. But on a semi-auto gun, being able to tap it faster, I guess it's kind of useful. Oh God, with the teleporting. Come on, get out of here, Thrasher. They're literally, they're so tanky. It's insane. I feel like 80 bullets, 90. Oh, and there's another one. Brilliant, dude. Brilliant. Two Thrashers. Oh, it's fine. Okay, there's one gone. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm fine. Oh, at least I'll get off this gun. There we go. I was about to say, I hope that Modern Warfare Zombies has, like, some of these guns, but, you know, why would they have Black Ops guns? I mean, who knows? Maybe they will. They're really blending the Modern Warfare and Black Ops universe. It's kind of strange. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I kind of like the vibe they're going for, but being trying to be, like, more serious. But again, like, I'm probably not going to play it much because it's meant for co-op. The same reason that I'm not really into, like, Battle Royales or DMZ. Oh god, that was so close. Our training on this map is, oh, it's a sketchy experience. These red ones are like super sprinting as well, which doesn't help at all. Uh, all right, three up there. Oh, <laughs> instantly off. On to the snipers again. Hopefully not for long. We have thrashers that I just can't deal with. Like, is a sniper even going to be decent against you? Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh, that's a demotion. I just, whoa, I backed myself up into a wall, dude. It is what it is, I guess. Okay, at least I can actually get off of this gun now. Oh, please, please, please. Oh my god, did I hate myself. Wait, I promoted and instantly demoted. I was trying to save the zombie cash, but I wanted to, like, use it when we had the sniper, you know? A double points would be so good right now. I mean, actually, double tap is really, really helping. Oh my god. <laughs> of course, yes, there's the double points. Right on cue at the end of the round. This round has 62 zombies. Jesus, bro. Get some kills quickly before the double runs out. Only 10 guns left, which is good. Here we go. Snipe the, the commando. Again, another one of my favorite assault rifles. Kind of hard to beat something like the commando because it's just... It fires so quickly, has little to no recoil, and it has a lot of damage. Kind of everything you could want in a gun, you know? The G11. This gun was weird. Like a three-round burst range gun. 
with a really ridiculous sight on it. And apparently no damage either. Oh boy. I mean, if a gun doesn't deal damage, it's not too bad as long as you can actually get points with it. Like if it's Flauter or something, or just fires fast. That's the problem with the snipers because they don't fire fast, but you can't get points fast and they deal like no damage. I don't know what these red drops are. I don't actually know what they do. They look like salvage almost from Cold War. 50 points, come on. There we go. Oh, onto another semi-auto. I mean, at least it's semi. All right, there we go. Round 22. Can we get this done by round? Normally it ends up being like 26, 27. But honestly, I'd be fine with like a nuke or something because, you know, the 400 points would be pretty helpful. We do get occasional point drops, which is nice. You know, it's nothing crazy, but like 20 points here and there is not bad. Hey, there we go. Enfield. I don't think this was in any zombies map. I don't remember it. Then again, I could be completely wrong. Who knows? Oh god, hello every zombie in existence. Oh, that was close. Oh, this is going to instantly get us up. There we go. The M60, absolute beast. And we're just instantly going to go off of it. That's the thing about LMGs, man. The points are required is too low. Like, I've literally had this for 30 seconds and it's already gone. The HK, this one's not bad, but it is... Only 50 in the magazine when the M60 has like 200. Why would you ever choose it over it, you know? I guess it fires slightly slower so you can be more accurate. And then the RPK only has 40. I mean, when Packer punched, it's kind of better, but... Oh, we got Mule Kick. Let's go. The totally useless perk. Woo! Only three guns left, though. I'm going to predict it right now. I reckon it's going to be another LMG of some kind, and then it's going to be like the Ray Gun. It usually ends with the Ray Gun, but we'll see. I mean, we're not even going to be able to get off this gun on this round because the spiders only give you 50 points, which is quite tragic. At least with the dogs, you can actually headshot them, so they give you 100 points each. Like, that's kind of nice. At least tearing off the webs. It, it gives you only 10 points, but you know, it's something. The equivalent of one bullet, pretty much. So yeah, really not too much, but anyway. Oh, and we've got an immediate thrasher. That's just, that's brilliant, that is. That's exactly what I was hoping for. The stoner. Oh my god. Ooh, I didn't know the stoner was in BO1. <laughs> You're serious. It teleported on me. I'm somehow fine. Okay. <laughs> we didn't demote. That was beyond close. Oh god, run, 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 oh, no, please. Jesus, that was like the closest encounter we've had so far. Oh, don't spawn in the ground near me. Oh, carpet, damn it. We could have got an extra 200 points there. Oh, well, can we not spawn behind me? Hey, the Reagan. Yeah, we are finishing with the Reagan. It's to be expected. At least we can actually destroy the webs now. And we have PhD at least. But it's not too bad. And you know, speed cola is pretty useful. Well, hello, Max Ammo. The Reagan has a surprisingly quite slow reload, so... It's not too bad. Oh, God, I'm demoted. <laughs> I tried to slide through and there was a spider there that just completely cock blocked me, which is just brilliant. Okay, fair enough. At least the stoner demolishes the thrashers. Holy shit. Yeah, we're probably going to get to the next round then. We have got that point. Gimme. Come on, Raygun. It's just, it's so weak against the thrashers, actually. I think you can only get three per round, which I appreciate that because we would be here all day otherwise. Come on, dude. Get out of there. There we go. Free perk again. A quick revive. <laughs> I suppose I'll take it, I guess. Well, we only need 330 points and then we're done. Had a few more demotes this game. I mean, to be fair, Zetsubo isn't exactly the easiest map in the world to, like, train on. Because you really, like, if you don't do the Easter egg and unlock the downstairs bit afterwards, you have no real good place to train. Like, this is the closest you can get. You sort of just loop them as far as you can go, hogging the walls. But of course, you've got, like, spawns and so many different exits. There's just so many ways you could accidentally mess up. But yeah, here we go. Oh, a death machine. No, I don't want to cheat. Wait, why do I still have the death machine logo? That's, that's strange. Anyway, 30 points and we won. Let's go. Thank you all so much for watching.